Hello everybody and welcome to the channel Out of Ammo, Out of Time. I'm your host Krabby Terror 8 and here we are in, I can't remember what episode, episode something of the Investigator Games uh, Elder Sign Omens Edition. Yes, and for those of you new to the channel, a very hearty welcome. Uh, the Investigator Games uh, basically takes each investigator in different Arkham Horror Files games and uh, puts them through a game true solo, and we see how they go. And in Elder Sign Omens, I'm playing this on Steam, we've done a number of investigators so far, and once they've finished, we score them and rate them and put them in a league table, a little bit like this one. Yes, and as we can see, there's a number of investigators so far who've done reason. Some have done reasonably well, others have done not so well. All up against Yig, who is the first and easiest um, old one, I suppose. Uh, and once we've finished season one, where everybody's uh, been up against Yig, we'll um, start season two with a new old one, and so on and so on. So here we are this time with Amanda Sharp. Uh, she's uh, it says she's studious and we know she's studious because she's very studiously looking through some kind of tome here uh, essentially she's pretty balanced in terms of her psych and her physical health five of each and her special ability is she may complete any number of tasks on her turn which for anybody who knows anything about Elder Sign Omens, and if you haven't played it before, I would uh, very much encourage you to play it in real life, or at least play the uh, iPad or Steam version. Um, but uh, yeah, essentially it means you can get ahead of things by not worrying, like normally uh, if there are three tasks, you have to complete them not necessarily in order but at least one at a time so you can have things that you could potentially play that have to be re-rolled again now amanda doesn't have to do that she can complete any number of tasks on her turn which is um, very very helpful uh, now she starts with uh, with a yellow glyph and a, a red glyph so uh, that's an, a common and an, uh, and a rare item so uh, um, that's that's very handy, a unique item I should say, and a common item. So that's what she starts with. So that's all great. Nothing really more to say. She's got no money at the moment. So let's go ahead and uh, see how things are in the museum. So here we are, uh, ready to roll. And as we can see, there's already a, uh, a midnight effect as per usual. So let's go around the houses and just see what we are up against. So unnatural habitat is one um, which to be honest doesn't feel very enticing to be honest because um, yeah it's uh, it's basically uh, a commitment quite a bit of commitment that you've got to do all in one go for what a, a clue and, and and you take physical damage and you can lose a ton of sanity on this one so not great Something has broken free. Well, this one is quite different. Um, you, whilst you could fail this adventure, there's a big payoff for this. The downside is only uh, losing one physical health. So this one actually feels pretty good. Uh, the only downside, of course, is that a monster, if you do succeed, you get a monster appearing, which with you, you can end up with a ton of monsters. Assassination attempt. Oh, boy. I mean... Oof. Look, this has a huge payoff in terms of Elder Signs. The problem is that to actually pull this off, you're going to need quite a few re-rolls at the very least. <clears throat> so, and you don't get much back. So, uh, and the downside is quite nasty, and the terror is quite nasty. So, uh, you probably only really want to do this maybe at the end of the game. You know, if you're onto seven Elder Signs and you've got plenty of resources and you've got plenty of bits and pieces. This would be a good way to finish, but you don't want to start with this one unless you're feeling very lucky. Uh, hallway fire is, as usual, is a big stamina hit. Uh, you do get two unique items, but um, for investigators with not a lot of physical health, and Amanda's not too bad, uh, it can get quite nasty. 
but you only need two skulls. So this can swing both ways. It can end up being quite nasty and quite fortuitous because if you can pull it off without using any extra resources, then you're going to end up with two unique items. So that's definitely worth a consider. And it doesn't come up very often. I don't think I've had the hallway on fire very often. Uh, the hedge maze is uh, one we want to get rid of. There's a big payoff for doing it as well. Uh, and the midnight effect, whilst initially it's not an issue, it does tend to whittle away your stamina. So it's definitely one to consider at the beginning, although it's helpful to have a reroll because of all these skulls. Stay away from the windows is a great one. The problem is that um, it doesn't give you much except two elder signs. So again, this is a good one to keep to the end. And there we go. So that's a funny mix, I have to say. There's nothing that was sort of obviously, yeah, that's an obvious one. Um, a, some re-rolls would be good. But that one is, uh, I, don't, I don't really like any of these a lot, to be honest. Um, I might give this one a go purely because I don't see any, it's not like there are lots and lots of re-rolls. So let's get rid of the hedge maze. Uh, as a beginning, as a starting point. So we bring up the hedge maze. Uh, best to get it out of the way if we can. Yes, the hedge maze. I have walked this maze dozens of times. I could find my way blindfolded. How could I possibly have gotten so lost? Don't know, you tell us. All right, let's use, I think we better use all our, glyph all our glyphs for this one because we need to get the three skulls. Now, as I said with Amanda, we could finish all this really in one roll because that's her special ability. That's a pretty terrible start, to be honest. So we'll throw away a one. Do we want to keep anything? I don't think so. Let's go again. Well, there we go. There's two skulls, so that's not too bad. So we'll throw in the skulls, but we, uh, so that's not too bad. And um, we can't, uh, so with Amanda we could go again, but we don't have what we need. So hopefully we will get a skull and a two, and we don't. So I might just throw in again, and hopefully we will get what we need. And we don't, this is starting to look a little bit worrisome. Come on. Ah, uh, phew. I was a bit worried then. There we go. So there's the skull and there's the two. We did really need everything there, didn't we? So there we go. We got lots of good stuff, but we also got a monster on the table, but that's okay. We've gotten rid of the midnight effect and it looks like we have something new on the table for us to look at. So there we go. I think we're a little, well, we've got a, a uncommon item and the ability to, um, convert something to a law so that should be something we look at now this is the one we got was a key to be on this is a good card um, because um, this will allow us to uh, bring out a, a location another world location which are always good and gives us a couple of re-rolls I'm going to do this particularly since we've got that ability to convert something to a law so let's give this one a go, as long as we don't end up losing a ton of sanity because of it. I am going to put out the uh, the uncommon item to give us a yellow glyph. And let's see how we go. Okay, so we've started okay. Um, now we could, this is, this is where we can use this because I think we can finish this off. We certainly can. So we've got a choice here. We could re-roll, but I'm actually thinking the best thing to do is to convert that and finish this off in one go. There we go. So that really meant we didn't have to re-roll again. We had everything we need. So that was quite a nice ability that Amanda has. Uh, uh, we got the, uh, so we got a good, the good side was we got City of the Great Race. The downside was we got the Visiting Antiquarian who locks both of our glyphs. Now, I don't think we have, we don't, we don't have a yellow or a red glyph at the moment. Having said that though, oh, that's awful. So that's locked both of our glyphs. So we've got a choice. We can either do this one or we could go over here and do the City of the Great Race, which will give us a ton of unique stuff. But um, unfortunately, we really need to get rid of this visiting antiquarian, to be honest. He is a serious problem. So let's go ahead and see if we can 
get rid of the visiting antiquarian. As I told the esteemed scholar what I had discovered, as I, sorry, let me say that again. As I told the esteemed scholar what I had discovered, his skepticism transformed into sheer dread. Well, this is how I feel about the visiting antiquarian because we, uh, we don't have any additional glyphs, but um, we should be okay. There we go. We got the first one, no worries. Now we can't do this one. I could re-roll now, but I think it's better off that we re-roll for free. And there we go. We did it. So that's great because uh, we got some extra stuff and um, we didn't use any of our... Um, We didn't use um, that was great because we didn't use any extra stuff and um, we we got some extra things so uh, we're looking quite flush with things now which is fantastic so we've got one go till midnight um, we've got only one elder sign I'm wondering whether we should do this one because uh, we get lots of stuff for it and that would set us up quite nicely so I think we might do this city of the great race because otherwise what can happen is we can end up with a monster on it, which makes things more difficult. So City of the Great Race, the bizarre canonical being buzzed at me and I found to my horror that I understand, understood its weird ululations. Something had changed in me, perhaps forever, and the thought greatly disturbed me. Um, okay, so let's... Um, do we put out a red glyph for this? I think we do we're going to get a whole lot of unique items back anyway so let's see how we go hmm not bad what I might do because we've got the skull and the um, in fact we've got everything we need except the law so we've got those two so what I might do is I might do a reroll and keep the skull keep the terror and I think keep the three and see if we can get the law with the last lot. And we did. There you go. Because we can do everything, we could do it all in one hit. So let's, uh, let's bring out this and this and the terror and the three. And we're all done. So her ability, Amanda Sharp's ability doesn't seem that useful, but actually once you, once you, experienced it it is actually quite a useful ability that she has i have to say so that's the first round that seemed to take forever but that was a pretty good start we uh we ended up we got a monster there but we we ended up getting rid of the maze um, we ended up getting rid of the visiting antiquarian we got our other worldly um as well which means we have got a ton of stuff now we're, we're in a really good position so uh, I'm feeling pretty confident we can uh, move forward the main thing is to get some more elder signs happening so I think now that we've finished that let's have a look around the houses with Amanda and see what we've got so we've got the unnatural habitat here which quite frankly if the axe murderer wants to be in the unnatural habitat let him because we're not going to touch this it's just not worth it um, something has broken free is um, certainly worth it in terms of extra stuff, but it, we have got a lot of stuff, so I'm feeling less inclined to that. Now, this one here, actually, we have got lots of stuff, but I still don't feel like, in some ways, this has become even worse, although we do have a um, monster takeaway, uh, monster killing uh, the flute here. That we could use to get rid of the monster. The, we only have one re-roll even though we've got lots of unique items so you wouldn't attempt that without at least two re-rolls I would say. Uh, yep yeah, there's the hallway on fire which gives us more unique items we don't really need. This is becoming other so this is one I think this is definitely worth considering. You would definitely want to have at least one glyph out because you're going to need it so that's one to, to consider. 
stay away from the windows again that's something we want to consider yeah so i'm thinking becoming other because whilst we could just go for the pure two elder signs we don't get anything back with it so this is a better one to keep till the end so i think becoming other is probably the one that we should do okay let's have a look at becoming other for a moment she stared at me in horror then her eyes changed and she slowly smiled Oof. okay so let's put out a, um, a unique item to get a red glyph we might as well uh, so we've got two re-rolls yes so let's see how we go here okay well we're not doing that one but we can do this one and we can do this one so we can do two of them um it's whether we try and actually i'm just thinking why don't we try and re-roll these two and see if we can get a number because then we can do it yes there we go so that was worth it there we go done very nice okay so far so good things are going very well for amanda we, we've uh, we're really if we can keep getting elder signs every time because our money what are we up to in terms of money nine so we're already up to nearly a point where we can buy an elder sign as well what do we get then i think we got this one there's something in the basement yeah this is not bad um to get some extra things but again no not really any so there's only so either we can try and do this one which feels really 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 because the problem is is every terror is a doom plus one that feels really really difficult to do so maybe we do this stay away from the windows because i think we can do that reasonably okay why don't we do that even though i'd like to leave it to the end we don't have anything else with elder signs so let's put out another unique item um do we put out a i want to try and minimize how much we i might try and keep it at that see how we go all right let's go okay so um hmm we've got one skull we've got the eight but we're missing a skull so let me uh let's see if we can bring up the skull we'll keep that one we keep that one and keep that one so let's put in the others so it's these four let's see how we go yes so there's the two skulls in fact we didn't even need our red glyph wow really good okay there we go so it took us a re-roll but we managed to get two uh, elder signs so it'll be interesting to see what we get now see if we can keep our elder signs going because we're doing pretty well still got lots of stuff so what did we what do we get writing on the oh, perfect this is perfect the only thing I wish we had was um, was a re-roll because I think we've used them all up now but that's all right what's let's, let's put out another unique item and I'm going to put both of these out because I really want to get this one uh, we got it there we go I think we over egged that a little bit that's okay better safe than sorry so we got lots of good stuff there we got another otherworldly encounter we got another monster killing um, thing in our kit bag so things are going pretty well with Amanda we've had no I don't think we've lost any he says <laughs> so um but our resources are starting to dwindle a little bit so let's just go because we've got a couple of new ones now so let's see what we got so we're not touching that it's just not worth it uh something is broken free um now has a monster on it which actually 
makes it simpler than it was before. So that's definitely worth considering if we're prepared to get rid of a monster. That's just um, with what we've got, I wouldn't attempt it. Um, there's something in the basement. Well, that just gives us extra things. You'd want to try and do that without using committing any additional pieces. There's the hallway on fire. The dreamlands, this looks pretty good. Um, I think we'll go for that. And then we've got forgotten knowledge. I think we will go for the dreamlands. That would be a nice way to finish this round. Here we go. So let's commit another unique item. Getting a bit low on things now, aren't we? What's up? Oh no, we've got the other one. Let's see if we can just go with this. Let's see how we go. And we get a skull and the three, but we don't have the law. So let's um, let's throw in the two and keep the skull. That should work. And hopefully we get a better, no we don't. So let's throw in a one. And let's go again. Oh, we're getting the worst rolls here. Um, okay, let's put in a two. I'm going to actually commit the yellow glyph. I'm getting worried now. There we go. Oh no, we didn't get it. Oh no. Can we put in a law? No, we can't. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this is like one extreme to the other. I can't believe this. After I said things have been going really well. Oh my goodness. We failed. Not that we lost a lot, but that was just awful. We just used up a whole lot of resources and we just had the worst rolls. That was terrible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> just, just when I thought things were going really well and now we get a doom and a monster. Oh boy. Okay, so there we go. We just got a little bit ahead of ourselves there, I think. Um, well, we don't want to use that yet because that maxes our invest. Okay, so I think we need to get some more resources, so we won't do that at the moment. Let's see one where we can kill a monster. I'm thinking this one now. Why don't we have a go at this one? As long as we don't fail the adventure. Um, okay, so let's roll it up. Yes, this is good. This is actually really good. So, um, yep, let's kill that. Thank you. And then we, uh, we did it. So that gave us some extra resources, which was very nice, but we did end up with another monster, but we killed a monster at the same time. So there we go, we got some extra resources. Where are we? We've got five. We're halfway through. Is this also maxing our... It is, so that's good. Um, this is something new, Guided Tour. Yeah, this isn't bad, actually. This particularly, again, if you can get this done without really committing anything to it, that would be quite good. I'm actually thinking I might do this and see if we can get this done without having to commit anything. We've got a reroll if we really have to use it, but I'm hoping we won't have to. So there's the two. Oh, we've done it, of course, because there's the four and there's the law. Look at that, all in one go. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Okay, now I think we can go and tackle the dreamlands. Um, yes. Before we do, we got the storage closet. What does that give us? Oh, that gives us another world encounter. Very nice. Um, hmm. Do, ah, now I'm a bit tempted. Do we do this one? Or do we go and do the... Where's the Dreamlands gone? Oh, the Dreamlands got a... Okay. Well, maybe we do this one first. Let's, let's get the Dreamlands done. Um, do we try and... Do we try and not commit anything to it? I'm going to try to in the first instance. Let's see if we can do it. Well, that was a good call because what we can do is we can kill the maniac. Thank you. And then we can uh, do that. There we go. Easy. Wow, now we've got lots and lots of stuff. So, uh, 
How much money have we got now? We've got 20 money, so we can actually just buy ourselves two more. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to do the storage closet because we're going to get this extra other world. Now, I just realized I haven't been reading out there descriptions which is a bit unfortunate let's just read this I was told the key had been lost but now the door swung open okay so let's commit a red glyph to this let's just see how we go with that okay well there we go there's a three there's the three so all I have to do is get two bore let's see if we can get them and there they are we didn't even need the red glyph amazing Wow, so fantastic. I'm actually thinking we might be able to do that one that, uh, oh, green glyph locked. Oh, no. You are kidding me, right? Oh, okay. Oh, it's midnight. Okay, we get another monster. There's four monsters on the board again. Oh, and that's a, oh, it's all happening. We've got, wow, okay. This is, this is, we've lost a red glyph and a green glyph here. Okay, we need to deal with this. Um, downside's not too bad. Let's go ahead and do it. Even if we don't succeed, if we can get rid of the monster, let's put in a yellow glyph to just boost things a little bit and let's see how we go. Well, there we go. There's those two. Um... I think we should try and um, we should try and get the lore if we can, so we don't have to re-roll. There we go, done, done, done and dusted. Very nice. Okay, great. Wow. Okay. So now we've got lots of stuff. Okay. So let's just just uh, let's have a look here. So we've got. We've got lots of things. We've got six re-rolls. We've got two glyphs and we can hold something. Let's just have a look at where we're at with everything. And uh, we can buy, we've got 26. We can buy two Elder Signs and literally buy them. So we only need to get two more. So we're not going to tr trouble ourselves with that. I'm actually thinking this one might be worth doing now because we've got so many ways of dealing with all this stuff. And that would basically finish the game something in the basement yeah it's got resources forgotten knowledge resources but no elder signs a terrible discovery gives us an elder sign uh, and another dimension does but it's got a monster in it so i'm actually thinking let's give this a go because we can always max ourselves out again so let's go ahead and do it let's go on let's let's try and something really does it say, opening my eyes, Glirily, I became instantly alert at the sight of a deadly snake crawling over me. Yes, maybe, uh, maybe not such a great idea. But anyway, we've got a full complement. We've got lots of re-rolls and we can hold things. Let's go ahead. And there we go. There's two. So what I might do is get rid of this monster, if nothing else, even though we take a doom for it. Um, and then we might as well um, hold the other skull and re-roll the rest because that's a free roll. There we go. One, two, three. There's oh four. There they are. There they all are. Wow. <laughs> that was amazing. Look at that. Wow. I, d I did not expect that to happen. Look at that. Wow. Uh, and that means, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for our final to go, we can uh, finish things with uh, a good old um, purchase. We can go to the souvenir shop and we can buy an Elder Sign. And there we have it. All done. Thank you very much for watching. That was uh, that went pretty well, apart from that one, um, apart from that one um, Dreamlands one where things went really terrible. We managed to do that in fourteen turns. Um, and uh yeah we um there were empty doom slots there were six left at the end is that right um i thought we only had a couple of doom actually i thought there was 
anyway, what I'll do is I will re review the video and I will uh, mark it appropriately. But I think Amanda did pretty well there. So anyway, that's that. So thank you very much for watching. Now, next time um, we will be taking, um, let's just do this. We will be taking, um, who will we be taking through? Oops. We will be taking uh, Vincent Lee through uh, Elder Signs Omens. Uh, and uh, we will see how he goes. He's a doctor, so I'm assuming uh, he gets to uh, redo uh, stamina. So we'll see how he goes. But until then, thank you very much for watching. I'm Krabby Terror 8, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.